Hey everyone, Eamon here, back with another NRL round reaction. We are on to round 23, which is wild. I can't believe we're already here. Um, only have four more rounds after this left until finals, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, so this past week we did a stream for the uh, Raiders Seagulls. Uh, I was hoping for a good match, but yeah, it ended up being uh, the Seagulls kind of cementing themselves as being yeah, like they're pretty much a lock for the finals now. The Raiders are kind of not totally done but like pretty much done unless they get lucky i guess would be the case for that um yeah so next week we are going to be doing a stream for the uh panther storm game uh premier matchup probably i think most like if you had to bet that would be the finals of the season um so definitely check that out they're both right in the mix for the minor premiership so that should be fun make sure to tune for that um, it's gonna be a late one for me though. It'll be 3 a.m. for me. So, uh, we'll see how that goes with uh, everything Um, but yeah, so we will do a reaction to this round Um, there's a couple games that I do know the scores of so there won't be like true like I mean, I still I haven't seen like the like the actual Tries and stuff, but yeah, I know the score of a few games. Um, it's been hard to like not keep up uh, When I'm not on YouTube because I'm, I'm like super into the NRL now So I'm like looking up scores and wanting to know what's happening all the time. So kind of ruins my like first reaction type thing that i know people like but whatever it's yeah i'm a fan now so <laughs> like i'm gonna i'm gonna do that stuff um anyways yeah so i'll, I'll read up my picks uh if, before each match um a couple of them yeah i do know the score i did react to the panthers eels game on my during my live stream um so i'll probably just like edit that into in here at some point when once we're at to that once we're at that game um yeah because that was yeah that was obviously an insane game so uh yeah um but yeah uh make sure to sub we're like closing in on 3,000 subs i think we're at like 2900 2900 right right around there um just need 100 more for 3k It'd be awesome to get that before final starts and yeah uh let me know what your thoughts on the round are let me know if you have any like reaction requests i haven't really done requests and stuff lately i've just kind of been doing the same few videos each week but if you have requests for like nrl uh, specific stuff or like non-nrl stuff uh let me know because i do i do like I'm trying to get back into making a bit more videos and it's been, yeah, it's been tough to like decide what to react to <laughs> lately. So I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's just hop into it. All right. Okay. So first up we have the first up we have the Rabbitoh storm match. Um, I, did I see who won this one? I think I did. It, I forget. I forget, but yeah, I had storm by 30. So let's see what happens here. I'm expecting a blow, but yeah. Let's see. We are underway for Kia Thursday night footy. Asked. Grant to Hughes. Flies a lovely pass. Mina yeah, that's wide. just too easy. Wolbrick will open the scoring. Didn't this game change quickly? The Melbourne Storm. Yeah, first. six in. Edge back row was back. Hughes got the ball and said, well, I'm used to get this to the outside and trust my athletes on the outside. And Meany and, and Warbrick just stripped them. But there was a real disconnection in their line on the outside there. Mate. Melbourne looking for their second try of the night. Munster. Hughes, the hearts combining. And there's the pullback. Oh, okay, interception. Up over the halfway. Up, probably going to get him. On track for his first ever NRL nope. try. No. Nope. Nice. First NRL tries an interception against the... Minor Premiership leaders, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Poppin. He got that, right? I think he got that. Yeah. Did he? Right. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. 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 Almost was blocked, but the ref was right there, so. Yeah. The ref had a better angle there. Oh, what? Oh, wasn't it a try? Okay. That, I guess the ref saw part of the part of the ball not touch the ground there. Oh, there we go. Storm. Watch the reaction after it. You can see the big unit. He's in a mood. Watch this. Yeah, he is hyped. Oh, the grab. Nice, the hands. Almost, brilliant almost got some a bad bounce yeah, there, but no, it's good. Room during the week, they would have identified the fast-moving defense. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, what a dummy. Oh my god. Oh, there's another one. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Happy right through the wickets. Happy. People call him Pappy? Or is it. Does he have a nickname? Poppy sounds like a, it would make sense for a nickname, but. Oh man, look at it, dude. That's crazy. Yeah, he's nasty. Anderson. Oh, good passing. Oh, is, it, is Mitchell back? Okay. Is that the same Mitchell? Is that Latrell Mitchell? There you go. Rabbitohs. Was that Latrell Mitchell? I didn't see him back in the team list, but... Is that... Yeah, I think that's him, right? He's got some beef on him, right? I think that was him. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. What's on my... My desk all wet. <laughs> Ooh, good handoff. We got there you go. Messed up my margin a bit here, Rabbit is, but good, good for you guys, I guess. Yep. Line any of the the legends up over South Sydney and over the last however years, and this bloke could be in that group. Up by ten. Monster. Ooh. High shot from Cam Murray. Nothing in it. Right. This season doesn't tend on that. Right. Perfect. Okay. Tw storm by 12, looks like. Alright. Storm by 12. And that is full time yeah, I mean, that was pretty Daniel. expected. I, I was expecting maybe a bit a bit bigger of a margin, but. Yeah. Good match. Alright. Let us check out the comments here. Storm one in a pack state of a hundred fans, as per usual for those games. I did notice the crowd seemed pretty, uh, pretty uh, iffy. Uh, that held up call was a shocker. Is that the? That was the game, right? That was that was the try that was like on the on the line, right? That I thought it was a try. It seemed like it like was, but maybe not. That's wild to go for the intercept in the second game. Recure, yeah, that that was a sick. That's like a that's like a. People will talk about that for a while. Um, Storm will get pumped by the fans if they played did it. Okay. Interesting context for the, uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll move on. Yeah. That's, that obviously isn't a great, great matchup. Um, yeah. Um, Titans versus Sharks. Okay. This game, I, this, this is a disappointing game. I do know the score of this one. I had Titans by it was my margin. I was really thinking the Titans were going to like go on a run here and like, like make the top eight. Um, if you haven't been, if, if you're just new to my channel or whatever, um, I've been kind of, I've liked the, I mean, I like the Sharks a lot too. Uh, the first half of the season. But I've been like more and more. The more I watch the Titans, I've been enjoying watching them play. So, yeah, I did. I did see the score of this one, um, unfortunately. So <laughs> that probably spells the end of the Titans season. But I don't know. We'll see. Let's see what happened here, though. Because I do know that I do know that both the uh, both the Sharks um, is the halfbacks. I'm so bad with the position still in in, in rugby league. Um, I think it's the halfbacks. Both their starting halfbacks were out, so they had like backups in, and they just got, they still absolutely smoked the Titans, which, yeah, anyways, yeah, that's all I it. Yeah. It was a Titans home game, too, right? Yeah. Well, this jersey matchup is so nice. Man. These are like my two favorite uh, uniforms in the NRL. These two teams, I think. Other than the indigenous round uh, jerseys, I like those a lot. Here we go, Sharks early. Cronulla's ball movement causing some problems. Atkinson with a kick, looking for the corner. Katoa the backpack was as clean as... That was nasty. Did he just steal it, though? That was almost a highlight reel. Okay. He got stripped before he put it down. Oh, brutal. Oh, he's gone. These Titans. Damn. Stone Street. Oh, jeez. Is that a high hit? Yeah, that's a, that's a sin bin, right? Okay. I almost thought they were going to say send off there, but no, okay. It's just a bin. 
Braley with it. Atkinson, Nicola, beautiful ball. So the Sharks going to make him pay here on the bin too, for sure. Granola, a hat trick of tries for the Sharks. They're coming to get him, the Sharks. Yeah, they're just gonna, the game just over, pretty much. They're already losing, and then the Sinbin and the Sharks are just going to go off here. Oh, no way. Oh, okay, I thought he just got through there. Quick play the ball for Braley. Jeez, yeah. 24. Jeez, 24 nothing. 25 minutes in. Okay, Cinnamon's over, but yeah, it's basically... Oh, what a... What a power oh, the bounce is perfect. That's crazy. 30 nothing. Jesus. Yeah, like it's pretty hard to when you're already losing 12 nothing and then you get a sin bin and the team just puts the paddle down and scores a couple more, like geez, so it was like holy smokes. So like nothing happens in the second half. I know it ends 44 nothing, so jeez. Oh man, that step is crazy. Now he looks like he's been there for a hundred matches. Yeah, it's a confidence oh, man. Dude, okay. This guy's nasty. Great footwork. There's some great steps. The tackle. Look at Sami who missed it upfield. Look at that. That's sick. To get to the try line. That's his second. Rayleigh. Atkinson. All right, second half. Atkinson, a Ooh, nice. The side of the boot. Still that was, oh, that was sick. Jeez, man. The Sharks are in a game. <laughs> they are winning on the ground. They are winning the running game. And now they are yeah, this is just... clearly in the air. Have the Titans had the ball yet? I feel like I haven't even seen them run the ball yet. Atkinson, last tackle. Oh, We've got a contest again for the ball. Oh, man. Ramian again doesn't jump. Oh, dude. Camperella goes over the top. Oh, what a pass. Holy goes smokes, man, the Titans. This is a shit show. This is crazy. I don't think we've seen the Titans with the ball the entire uh, the entire highlight reel with the entire highlight package. Yeah, I legit don't think I don't think they had it once in the highlight package. I guess I guess that's not totally unheard of, right? Because like the highlights are just showing the, the like all the, all the all the offensive tries and stuff, so. All offensive plays, so I guess that makes sense. They didn't have the ball much in the high package, but yeah, still, that's good. Wild 44 nothing. Yeah, the Titans, man. I don't know. I still like the Titans. I, I was saying in, in my live stream uh, this week that I think for next season, if if I don't pick another team, I think the Titans probably are the team that I'm gonna like decide to cheer for. Um, I, I like watching them, and they have like, th like, is it three? They have three like really good young players that they're gonna build around. So they'll be like exciting to watch them like progress as the as the years go on. So I think the Titans are probably the team I'm gonna cheer for. I really wish they would make the playoffs this year, but it doesn't look like they're gonna. So um I have to find something else to cheer for this year. But um yeah, Titans. Anyways. Sharks been convinced to without their stars. Titans take three hundred steps back just when I thought they were going forward. I can't win. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah. Look at Fafita just casually walking back and looking at the action unfolding. That's effort right there. <laughs> The ref was officially playing for a team, and he put in a brilliant effort, but even his great work still couldn't save us from being absolutely embarrassed. Jeez, yeah. Crazy. Crazy. Well, yeah, the Sharks. I don't know. The Sharks are such a weird team. I feel like they could either, like, get smoked in, in the first round, or they could win the whole thing. I have, like, no idea what's going to happen with them. They seem good when I watch them sometimes, and they seem bad other times, so we'll see, I guess. Um, Eels versus Panthers. Okay, so this game, I reacted to on stream. Um, I recorded it, and I'll probably look different. The, the way I had the, the, the video set up was probably different than um, I usually do. So um, I'll just insert that here right now in the editing, uh, with the power of editing. Um, I guess, like, here. There you go. See you in a bit. <laughs> Panthers, Friday night footy on nines, Wide World of Sports. The derby that always has plenty right. of feeling. Dane Laurie. So let's see how this goes. It's a unique jersey, yeah, Clash. The pink versus the blue and yellow. Kind of 1 to 12, jeez. It's him in the head, doesn't it? Yeah, look at that. 
as you said, didn't panic. A lot of other players would have panicked to drop that ball. But All right, no, there's Parramatta. First score. Clear. Oh, look at that movement there. Jeez. That was gross. This guy got smoked, too. Right after he offloaded it, or passed it, number one there got, like, flipped. They get in formation to run their plays. And turn the ball back inside. Yeah, this guy right here, he gets like taken out. Jeez, that's crazy. And the important players handle the ball. Yo, to Cleary, to Dane Laurie, and Brian Toto over in the corner. That's the key. The best players, yeah. the creative players, crazy. play together. Hands. Now, R.C. Brown. Oh, it's a lungy out wide. Oh, what a try. Jeez. Three tries in the first 10 minutes? style of play and when you're, you're up against the best defense in the competition you've got a chance you're up they just spun off him nice bit of structure off the offloads and blaze talani heavily involved again beautiful catch pass he had space in front of him nice. he hit the accelerator but he knew he had the skill catch pass to'o comes in and tunnels yeah that was nice too jeez eels they strike back this one. Dead center too, jeez. Yeah, I'm curious to see how big of a gap the Eels end up getting before the comeback. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Man, that's yeah. I haven't seen someone break through that opening line very often. Clary. Oh, what a kick! And he gets the bounce. That was nasty. Jeez. Four tries in 15 minutes? This game is crazy. How high did this, this score get in this? Yeah, the key is here. Gutherson's in the line. Harvey Norman replay. That was a massive kick, holy. Behind the back rower and where the halfback defends. The outside man, the center of the winger, come up. If you can get it between the back rower, Sean Lane there, and Dejan Arce. You're pretty much going to score all the time because the fullback's in the defensive line. Cleary picks that one for a contest. Batted back by McCoy. Oh, nice job. Oh, what a pass. Cleary. Jeez. Yeah, the Panthers are really good at those. Oh, little chip and chase. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Panthers are really good at like the, the, the quick passes going down the side. They're always in the right spot for the so they the, the team is going to look. They just know the guy's going to be there. Penalty goal. It is a gift from right in front. Twenty meters out. Makes no mistake. Brown. What a lovely pass. Cartwright. Gutherson. Jeez, there you go, Eels. Jeez, yeah. Late half try. Yeah, show good speed here. Sean Russell just to get outside McLean. Nice. And sometimes a try is scored and a defender misses his assignment. That time, no one missed their assignment. It was just too good attack. Sometimes you just got to stand behind the goalpost and clap. A few meters away from the line. Great second half, 16 14. Eels, Eels. Oh, good grab by Lui. Oh, he, no way. No way, Luai. What are you doing? You're not on the Tigers yet, Luai. Come on. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Luai reaches out. He tries to get the ball out of the in goal. Comes free. That's a try. Yeah, so he, tr he, tried to re he tried to reach out and, like, so it wasn't a drop or a line out or drop out, I think, is what he was trying to do there. And then he, he messed up, though, and dropped it. Yeah, that was like kind of a cocky mistake. I think it, I think is what he was trying to do there. But all right, okay, another one here. Jeez, okay, this is gonna be a big comeback then. Oh, no way! That was sick. Pray the line, little 180 spin, and just perfect pass. 
That was nasty. Holy. Okay, it's, it sucks knowing that the Panthers are going to come back here. Because that was sick, yeah. This is like watching like a, the cars rolling down a mountain right now. Or whatever that saying is. I think I got that wrong, but... The wheels haven't come off yet. Oh, yeah, that was a sick. They both went for him, and yeah, great offload. It took 12 point gap, 25 minutes, 23 minutes left. Oh, jeez. Penalty. Jeez, Martin, too. Martin took him out. Eh, come on, Martin. You gotta be smarter than that. Oh, it's in the bin. Oh shit. So there's a sin bin as well. Okay. 14 point gap now. 17 minutes. Sell the sin bin. Oh no way. I'm gonna score with the bin. That's crazy. That's not very common, right? To score when you have a guy in the sin bin. Like, I feel like that doesn't happen like very often at all. I think we saw it happen maybe the Cowboys when the Cowboys um the Cowboys just like stopped trying I think yeah I think the Cowboys had an, had an advantage at one point in a couple of game recently and then they let in a couple oh wait oh no okay there he looks yeah he's hurt he's fine right yeah Jerome Lua done a fantastic job too. Didn't overplay his hand. He could have went right to the line here. But just gave McLean a bit more time to get the ball away to Taruba. Now Gutherson tackled on the last. All right, 28-20. Goes to Lane. Lane breaks three. Got support on his inside. Gutherson. No way. Dude, how big is this comeback? That should be that should be 34, right? 34, um, 20. That's the That's the mistake conversion here, but he's pretty close to the middle, right? Gets a little bit of space. Harvey Norman replay, wing it back, Toto back. So there's an overlap. Show and go. He gets in the clear. The big back rower, and then who else? Gutherson pushing yeah. up. Wild. Alright, so it's a 14 point gap with 10 minutes left. I just think that is a bit better the bin, though. Yeah, 34 20, 7 minutes left. Oh man, jeez. Tao is nasty. Alright, there's one. And he doesn't even play straight. He plays really under a defender, and the mm. way it pulls the defense towards him. Just watch the defense when Nathan goes along, the way he straightens Harvey Norman replay, then goes in. Look at the defense. It has to move inwards. Yeah, toe is awesome. Three on two. That is Panthers so are just, they're so stacked. It's crazy. Straight, but then dug back towards the goalpost and what it did to the defense. All right. So what is that? Eight point match. Five minutes left. Ooh. What was that knock on? No? Guess not? Okay, they look close. Larry, little kick. No way. Bang! Okay, that was crazy too. Alright, might be a two point game now. Let's see this. This guy got a hand on it. Yeah, he smacked it back number four, I think. Yeah. Okay. Either a two or four point game now. And even though they're playing catch up, they're not just throwing a ball wide. All right, four minutes left down 4K. They didn't, they didn't miss the conversion. Clary, big pass. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. 
Yeah, he's got too many guys there. Yeah. Get up, get up. Get up. Bang. Jeez. Edits was probably losing his mind watching this. <laughs> That's crazy. Back to back to back. Try confirm. I guess they get the conversion here, or? Well, you've been in this position before, Joey. Oh, you'd be loving it. You got the, these you are got the, the game on on your boot. These Eels are, fans are booing. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the kick for the win, Cleary. Oh, they're booing Cleary, not out there booing the Eels. Jeez, 36-34. That's crazy. Fourteen points, and what was that like? Four minutes they got that. Oh, Nathan Cleary runs an escort line. Do you take the two? Oh, you take the two for sure. Oh, geez, okay. Which affects Sean Lane's impact. Okay, so you also have a penalty kick, okay? What, what are you saying? Is he, he gonna hit this? Face? No way. No, he's gonna choke. He's gonna choke, right? Takes a deep breath. That's a long okay. Is it like 35? Oh, pff. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Brutal. Bang. To -o. Crazy. Alright, minor premierships fully in the mix for Storm and Panthers now. Yeah. The Eels just blowing it. Holy. That's crazy. That's crazy. They're mad at our sons. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a brutal. That's like a state a stamp uh after uh Is this a little kid? What is wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. I thought this little kid right here in the Panthers uniform right here was fingering the camera, but she has two fingers up. She's doing like this. I thought she was like fucking flipping the bird at the camera, like an eight-year-old. Right? Look, look, this doesn't look like, doesn't look like, it looks like, <laughs> it looks like she's flipping the camera off. That's crazy. Oh my God. That, that's edits right there. That's, that's NRE edits. We, we've exposed them. <laughs> all right all right yeah so that that was this that was a crazy game that was like yeah that was crazy it shouldn't have been that close to begin with oh right because like the eels are obviously nowhere near as good as the panthers but yeah anyways um all right so that you just saw my eels panthers reaction um well let's check out the comments i guess of the of the actual match highlights though now um it's scary that even when the Panthers were down 14, I somehow knew they were still going to win. This team has been dominating for so long that they're just expecting to win everything, and they just deliver. Truly blessed to witness such a great team. Yeah, it's, yeah, they're nasty. Clearly, look after putting the kick through. Was, it was never a doubt we'd come back. The dude's goading like it's a joke. Yeah, yeah. Once in a, once in a generation team, and once in, and, and we were seeing a once in a generation team, and in Cleary, a once in a generation star at the team's core, beyond words. Yeah, they're just yeah, they're nasty. They're just like they like they could they could realistically they could win this year and they can win the year after too, right? Like they're losing a couple guys, right? But they're still like every year they're they're losing like good players and they just keep generating more, right? It's like at some point teams are gonna catch up, but like they're just yeah, they're crazy how good they are. They're definitely like unless I'm free, like not familiar with like some other like sports that aren't popular in, in like um, in like North America, um, they've got to be like the most dominant sports team at the moment, right? Like who else has won this much? Um, yeah, I'm trying to think. Like maybe with the Kansas City Chiefs, have, that's not even no, that, that wouldn't be the same though. The Chiefs have won like two or three Super Bowls right in the last like five years. Yeah, like three in a row is crazy, and they went to the finals the, the, the first year before that too. And they're set for that again. Like, yeah, they're like just insane, crazy stuff. And to do it with a salary cap too is wild. It's definitely like I know, like in like 
some sorts of those salary caps, you can keep a team together for a really long time and like just keep winning and winning. But yeah, that's just yeah, insane. Um, okay, Raider Seagulls this is the game we have to stream for. Uh, you can watch my reaction. I'll link it in the description. There's a time code uh, or time bar setup so you can skip through to all the tries and scores if you want to. Um, but yeah, definitely. Manly is like I think Manly. I would probably put Manly number three in the NRL for a team to think it could win. I go like Panther, Storm, Manly, I think, and then like Roosters and then Bulldogs, I guess, would probably be my top five. Um, yeah, I just, I, I've said that a bunch, but I really like how Manly has like the two captains of the origin. Like that kind of just tells me that they have like a really good like team culture and stuff like that. So yeah, I think they're a team that could like, if, if it's not the Storm of the Panthers, that they're the team I think will win. Just like the leadership and veteran, veteran like savvy, I guess that they have is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, they all, they need to stay healthy though. They need they need a Mister Turbo to, to to score a bunch of tries for them. But yeah, let's look at the comments here. Turbo getting back to his best, finally running hard. Yep. Um, Ruff said a shocker. Yeah, not not too many. Like, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, Seagulls Raiders kind of. Yeah, I think the Raiders are done now. Um, okay, Cowboys Broncos. Okay, this is a game I'm pretty interested to see because yeah, the Broncos have are like yeah, the Broncos have been done. Like the Broncos have been. Just on an absolute tailspin. Yeah, and the Cowboys are fighting. I think the Cowboys, are they still in the mix for top four of the Cowboys? I think, I think it's still possible for them to get top four. But everyone above them is winning, right? So it's kind of hard. But yeah, the Cowboys are a weird team to me. Um, obviously, really good offense, but I feel like their defense has been weird whenever I watch them. Um, but yeah, I have Cowboys by 12. Wouldn't be shocked if this is Cowboys by 50. I also wouldn't be shocked if the Broncos won because Walt Walsh. Walsh seems to pull off some crazy tries, especially recently. He's been doing some crazy stuff, so let's just see how it goes. Here we go. The Cowboys and the Broncos. Yeah, that's a Cowboys one good. Continues. This second leading this year. It's like a sold-out stadium, too, yeah. A former Cowboy who gets things going. It's slow motion, isn't it, here for Brisbane yeah. at the moment. Now it's Walters. Again, six more tackles. Six again. Jeez, they're making it hard for themselves, the Cowboys. Jensen Should be a Broncos, yeah. Broncos early. Seven years? He hasn't, he hasn't scored in seven years? What? That's crazy. Let me know the contacts or the, 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 the backstory behind that. Like, was he was he injured? Was he out of the NRL for a while? Playing, like, a league below? That's crazy. Seven years. Oh, there you go. Oh! No way. Ah, oh, good tackle. That was a crazy offload, though. Oh, man. he get that? I think he did. I think he did get it, yeah. Dude, the guy went flying that tried to get him. Deered and Look at this guy. That, <laughs> the guy in the back there went flying. Yeah, I think he rolled over the line, yeah. Oh, Walsh. That was nasty. Yeah, that was a crazy little pass by Walsh. I didn't, didn't score for that? Okay, interesting. Oh, what a pass. That was crazy. The rainbow pass. Yeah. Bang. Townsend. Oh, no way. What was that? Alright, should be 18-6. Yeah, what was the D doing, man? The Broncos are crazy. Oh, big hit. Walsh. Oh, oh my god, the hands. Mariner. That was... That was sick. That pass by Walsh was nasty. But that run, too, was crazy. Big kick, last tackle. Walsh. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, what a pass. Jeez, there you go. Should, should be tie game. Should be tie game, right? Ooh, okay. Are they going to say a knock on or a... So that's what, are they looking at a knock on or like interference? I guess it was neither. Tie game, yeah. Jeez, Broncos. 
The Broncos... There's no chance, right, for the Broncos to make it. I think they're still too far out for top eight, but, yeah, that's crazy. And this time, Holmes just got caught watching for the split second, and bang, Stags to the outside. Look at this. Stags. Oh, what a pass, man. Walsh has been... How many try assists does Walsh have this game? Or I guess that never mind, he didn't score a try there, but he's had like a lot of really little slick passes. Pull any grubbers. Gee, there we go. That is a try assist. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah, it should be game, right? Man, I know Walsh has a lot of defensive issues, but yo, here he here is again. He's just such a freak offensively. Dude, look at his pace. Jeez, okay. Got angled out there. Oh, is he hurt? Oh, no, okay. They're, they're still going. Is he hurt? Oh, I must be winded. Oh, my... No way, man. That was sick. That was one of the more... Can I... Are they going to show a replay that? Let me see that. No, they didn't. Okay, let me... I want to rewatch that again in slow motion. Right. Where was that? Okay, let me... Let me slow-mo this. This is something I haven't seen before, I don't think. And it looks so cool. The way it, is, it stags, right? This, he puts it in one hand. He goes like this with the ball. And then like hides it behind his body to like show that he's gonna pass it. And then he throws it in the air as if he's doing a handoff to four going across the, to the right. And then he picks it up again out of the air and just takes it. That is, oh my god, man. That is insane. I've definitely not seen uh, someone do that yet in the, in the NRL, I don't think. It just, it looks so clean the way he did I'm sure people do it, but like that was just such a clean way of doing it. It looked like a, yeah, just like a super flashy play. <laughs> Where was this all season though? Holy. Crazy. Stags. All right, so this is a blowout for the Broncos. Yeah, like that's what I was. That's what I was kind of saying. Like the Cowboys are just so weird. Like, jeez. What is that? Twelve? Is that twenty-four? Quick math. Yeah, twenty-four. Man. Yeah, the the Cowboys. Yeah, I've I've said this a few times. I just don't really. There's something wrong with the Cowboys whenever I watch them. Even though they're still top eight, they're gonna get top eight, like unless they just lose every game. But there's just something wrong about them. They just don't. I feel like they don't have what it takes to win. Like the way they play, I don't know. I think they'll be an easy first round. Uh, whoever gets them should win in, in the finals. And all this, yeah, they're just gone. Um, yeah, comments. Stags is always consistent, but there's always one or two games a year where he just completely puts the team on his back. He was unstoppable today, breaking tackles for fun. Yeah, yeah, he was. Him and Walsh were insane in this game. Um, Walsh, I mean, you guys all know, Walsh is just, he's a freak, but I mean, he's a freak offensively. He's, his defense, as you guys have pointed out to me, his defense is pretty lackluster, but I'd expect that I'll probably, yeah. Defense, I feel like, is something that kind of like matures in, in, the, in games, of like even in, like, in hockey, at least. Like young players are usually pretty bad. Defensively, it takes them a while to like learn how to how to defend properly, especially when you're like a superstar player. Like you grow up just being the guy that goes up and wins you the game by scoring tries over and over again. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, Stags is all Stags. Stags was insane in that game. That was a wild uh, thing to watch. Um, yeah, Broncos insane firepower in the second half. Yeah, speaking of the Cowboys fan, it's really hard being a Cowboys fan. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, Give Katoni Stags the keys to the city, build a statue of Yachty. This man has been carrying the team this year. Yeah. We're so back. Rest of the combination. Better watch out. I'm delusional and lonely. Maria, why did you leave me? <laughs> How did the Cowboys lose a 17 versus 1 to Stags? Rip my tips this <laughs> round. Yeah, exactly. I think I've, I would have, I got like two of them so far, I think. I'm here because I'm an Eels fan. <laughs> Crazy. All right, let's move on. All right, Dragons versus Bulldogs. This should be another good match. I, I almost did a stream for this one. 
I had dragons by two for this one. Um, I do like the bulldogs a lot, but I think I've I pointed out a few times the bulldogs like do not win on on the road like ever. It seemed like they've won one game all season that it wasn't at home. So that was my logic for the dragons here. Um, yeah, obviously I wouldn't. I don't. My tips are. I don't even care about my tips anymore at this point. I've, they're all wrong. So um, yeah, let's just see what happens. Um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see the dragons can get the final spot. To Goldrin, there's pressure. The race to the finals. Live on Fox League. Zach Lomax, the first kick. And it's been Hughes on the run. And Eisenhuth and Hunt. Oh, oh brutal pass. Is he gone? Does he have the speed? Yeah. He's got it. Nice. Is that Burton? Yeah. Sexton kicking to the right side. Here comes Karez. Drag it to there. Oh, he dropped it. Dude. Canterbury fans are up down. Seven away from the line, and the penalty is split. Strip after him. Excuse me. Strip after him. Okay. I think they just hit the penalty. Took the two. There you go. And eight nil it is on the scoreboard. Oh, we found a hole. No way. Do you see you? Laurie, and again, Crossfield got away from Preston. Back then from Sloan to Hunt. What a pass. There you go, Lomax. There you go. We got a game. <laughs> Until the game led the league comfortably yeah. in that stat. Now it's 29 and puts it on a platter there for Zach Lomax. Already a career yeah. best tally of try assists this year for Ben Hunt. Yeah, the Hunt Lomax connection has been crazy this year. Oh, there you go. Outside foot. There you go. Nice, Bulldogs. Yeah, Bulldogs are definitely another team that I think I, I think I just said that a couple minutes ago, but yeah. The Bulldogs are definitely a team that have a chance. Last tackle, I think I would put them firmly as number five though, but yeah. Oh that, I thought that was a replay. Okay, now they scored again. <laughs> Alright, twenty to six. Damn, okay, my my pick is not looking good right now. But here we go. Dragons, dragons. There you go. Good, good for the half. That's big. That's big. They need to score again. Start the second half, though. There we go. Ooh, that was a low tackle, wasn't it? Maybe not. Oh, what a kick. What's going on here? No, it hit the post. Jeez, it hit, like, the post and then went back out. Crazy. All right, 20, 10, 25 minutes left. Bro. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, no. The Anyone else catches and scores and Sam. And you. <laughs> the competition is shitting on that guy. That's like, ooh. Jeez, there you go, Bulldogs. Okay, was that a high tackle, too? Yeah, I think it might have been high. And they still scored, though. Oh, that was bad. Oh, well, no, okay, six again. Took a step too many behind the the decoy runner. Then this is for eighteen in front. Am I taking the two again? Eight, ten. Jeez, this might be my worst week of uh, tips. I think. I'm on pace to get like two out of eight, I think. Yeah. Ooh, that was... That was a... Oh, an ankle tap. Nice. That was a brutal pass, though. All right. Bulldogs by 18. They're making push for top four as well. Two competition points in the bank. Yeah. For the
Yeah, they're making a push too. Yeah, for sure. Could, couldn't tell it was the Dragon Stadium. So many Bulldogs fans. Yeah, it, it definitely looked like it had a lot of blue uh, blue in the crowd. That pass by Sexton was such a beauty. Yeah. Wait, I thought the Dragons fans said they were on the doggies winning streak. Doesn't prove so many the statement of the finals. Yeah. Best improved team, 2024. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're definitely a good team. I'm like, hmm. I'm not too familiar with too many of their players, I think, right on the Bulldogs. But yeah, I think I would put them five, but like Seagulls, Roosters, Bulldogs, I think they're they're like the next they're like the next three teams behind the top two, and then it's like a drop off after that as well. With like the sharks and the actually maybe put the sharks in, in that group as well. I think the sharks are definitely better than like the cowboys and the is it the dragons that are right there? Dragons or dolphins that are really great at, at, in, the, in the eight spot? I think. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, let's move on. Um, we have dolphins warriors. This is a oh man. I'm trying to remember exactly. Is it the dolphins that are in eight right now? Or are they in? Are they in nine? I think they're in eight at the time of this game. Yeah, the Warriors, I mean, the Warriors, yeah, the Warriors have been just not doing well lately. Uh, I picked Dolphins by eight. Um, I was told this game was really good. So, uh, excited to see the see what happens. But yeah, let's, let's go. Fourth meeting of Dolphins and Warriors. We're underway. Barnett for the first run. Black. Bromwich. Nicarima. Little kick. Here comes Cafe. Oh, wow. What, what a score the there. I love when the comment yeah, the commentators I love seeing the commentators like ask like what a player was doing and stuff. Like I feel like lots of commentators in other sports refuse to like call out people. But it, yeah, it's it's awesome the NRL commentators like don't shy away from going like what the hell is that guy doing? Yeah, so early Dolphins two score lead. There you go, Warriors. As it goes to Nicarima, across to Avril, a lovely move. He's got speed. Oh, the pace. Oh, what a pass. Was that a forward? Was that a forward pass? Oh, that looked kind of forward to me, but maybe not. Yeah, the commentators mentioned it. Okay, I guess it wasn't. 26. Ooh, was that a. Yeah, is his knee okay? His right knee. Yeah. Was that a... Is that a, is that a hip drop? There's a low tackle? Yeah, right there. Oh, it's a head contact. What? Oh, I thought it was his knee. I thought, I thought they, like, tackled his knee and, like, bent it weird, and that was what it was for. But, all right. All right. Um, we're going to score well in the bin. Interesting. 20 to 12. Katoa. Nice. Lovely slot of hand. Dolphins take take the big lead back. 14 points. Warriors. Ooh. Oh, we got it. Nice. There you go. Alright. Dolphins by 10. Ooh. What happened? There? Okay, he got it. Was that would that have been um, a penalty on the other, uh, oh, jeez, okay, here we go, Warriors. There's the numbers, yeah. Yeah. Oh, good defense. We got the numbers, yep. Yeah. Bang. Might be, is he hurt? No, he's just gassed. Oh, he dro oh, no, he dropped it. No way. That's why he knew he dropped it. Oh, what a step. Oh, oh, what an awful pass. No way, that was sick. There you go. <laughs> Warriors are hyped. High game, 10 minutes left, okay. Oh, we found a hole, nice. Nice. What a try. My six, Warriors. Is this going to go overtime? Oh, what a kick! Get it! Oh, he got. Did he get it? No, no. Oh, he got. He interfered with. Did he? There is no one else in front of him at this point. And he grabs. Interference. Yeah, he grabbed him. Oh boy! He would have got there first anyway. He got there first anyway. It is a penalty try. 
Grant Atkins, the video. Yeah, he, did, he didn't have the. Uh, opinion, Mitch Barnett would have got the ball earlier. There you go. And would have scored a try had it not been for wow. the unfair. Okay, geez, okay, there we go. Tie game. We're going to get overtime? Or a drop? Get it. Missed? Okay, jeez. Warriors, they get a chance too. No, it's a miss. Yeah. Extra time, okay, we haven't had an overtime in a few rounds. Here we go. Dolphins, Warriors, golden point. Wide, yeah, it's so hard to see if they go in. 40 meters. He went in. There you go. Bang. 40 meters, two point field goal. Let's go. That's crazy. They went for the 40 meter kick. There you go, Dolphins. So huge. Okay, I think they were the team that was right at the eight. Okay, so they're, they're in the eight. Crazy. Pretty crazy. Damn, I wish I had watched that game because that game was way better than the uh, than the Manly Raiders game. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That stadium looked pretty packed too. They were going at it. Um, there are three certain things in my life: death, taxes, and the Warriors making me depressed. Yeah, two things from today: Nico Rima is the best quarterback in the NRL, and CHT couldn't kick a tire down a hill. <laughs> that was the biggest forward pass. I don't even go for was. Yeah, are they talking about the one I thought was a forward pass? Maybe I'm not sure, but yeah, I definitely thought that one of them was a forward pass. But yeah, no, great game, Warriors. Yeah, the Warriors are just yeah, the Warriors are uh, not having the best of times this season. But uh, oh well. Anyways, okay, Knights Tigers last game of the round before we hop into some NRLW. Uh, we have Knights by ten was my pick. Um, I wouldn't be shocked if it was a much bigger margin than that. But yeah, I went with a safe uh, safe pick there. Um, Knights, I think. Where are Knights at? Were they like 10th or 11th? They're still in it, right, for, for finals? Um, so we'll see. They need, they need to win here, obviously, though. If only every day of the week was a Sunday, life would be so perfect. Not wrong. <laughs> the commentator. Like this, if only every day was a Sunday, life behind. would be perfect. Yeah, Elliot, true. Lovely ball. Thompson ran onto it. He nice offload. Oh, good step. Oh, what a forearm. <laughs> that was sick. Man, I really don't like the Knights uniforms. I, I wish they were like. I love the look of their logo and like the the dark blue they use in the scoreboard, but their uniform blue is like it's too bright. The and the red's like too bright for me. I wish it was like a like a navy blue and like gray with like a small highlights of red, like just like their logo. It looks so much nicer to me. But anyways, this isn't a oh. What a kick pass. Nice. Nice, nice. Hey, your Tigers. Did I miss the Tigers' first try? I think I did. Okay, so they have, they have their tie game. Okay. Nice. 18-12. There you go, another one. Then you go back to back here. Yeah. Oh, no. right behind him. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh, no, try. Okay. I think he'd been stopped by then. Okay. Oh, no, no look. Oh, oh. Oh my god. No way. What the hell was that? The guy accidentally kicked it. And it worked. <laughs> he like he like dropped it and then it went off his foot by accident. That's crazy. Well Welcome to anything can happen Sunday. Another kick try. Holy okay. Yes, definitely getting away from the Tigers now. And like a lot of young halves, they get a bit of scrutiny, a bit of pressure on them, and then they want to change them positions. And he was 
kind of used here at the Knights as a utility for a while, playing lock, playing 5A. Play it, 30 away. It is the last. All right. Nice by 16. Puts it high. Pong underneath it. Bullet chasing. Oh, what a grab. No way. That's an amazing That was sick. This brilliant Tigers fullback dream Buller. Anything can happen Sunday, Andrew. Here he comes. Look at that. Crazy. He's brilliant, this young man. He, he had a background in, in basketball, yeah. He wanted to be a basketballer. <laughs> Interesting, okay. All right, here come the Knights. Ponga, lovely ball. Gagai. Dane Gagai is away. Jeez. Pass. Fletcher. Fourth try this game? Yeah, I was about to say, I've seen him like, kick, feel like he's getting all the tries. Well, all through his run, I'm thinking he's Huge game. Is he going to get more? Sharp, but all he was doing was getting all three defenders in. Oh, a little, like... Free run to the line. That was, that like, a harder pass than it looked. De Silva. Horacao. Galvin. Oh, nice dummy, Galvin. Ooh, big hit. Good one-on-one tackle. Full time at McDonald's there you go. Stadium. All right. The Knights 34 have the 34. So Knights by 16. Okay, Knights by 10. Interesting. Okay. Dane Gagai with the with that assist. Um, Brilliant Tigers fullback Jerome Bully uses basketball skills to lock him with a try of the season. Sensational. Why was that a basketball play? They, they they mentioned that in the in the commentary too. How was that related to basketball there? Just catching the ball. That. Yeah, let me know what, what, what that was about exactly. Um, Sharp reminds me of a 76-year-old Brett Kenny. <laughs> what? It's at a point now where if you don't be the Tigers, then questions will be raised about your own team and manager. The Tigers have devolved into a park football team. <laughs> That's brutal. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. They're not. Yeah, the Tigers are just, yeah, they're brutal. It's crazy. Um, all right, so that ends our NRL reaction for the week. Let us go take a look at the ladder and the draw. And then we'll get to the, I, I picked this game to react to from the NRLW, the Broncos versus Titans, and then we'll do the best moments as well. Uh, yeah, so NRL, NRL ladder. Let's take a peek at this. I guess I'll take my headphones off for a second while we, while we look at this stuff. Um, all right. Sorry about that. Okay. So Storm and Panthers are, yeah, they're, they're, yeah, they're 36. They're like, they're up ahead of everyone. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. So they're going to be playing each other. We've got Roosters, Sharks, Bulldog. Yeah. The, okay. This, this makes more sense. Okay. So yeah, this is this is the top. It's these two teams, the top two. And then we got this group of four here for sure. And then I don't know, like, I can see any of these teams making it. Like, I mean, actually, there's only like a, so many games left. But yeah, like, I don't think any any teams out like one of these top six is going to win the whole thing for sure. And I have no idea what's going to happen when seven eight. I, I did think the Cowboys were a lock, but I don't know. The Cowboys are just so like. I don't know. I guess they do have a, uh, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. But yeah, Tigers, Tigers looking like they're going to win the, the spoon. Um, yeah. All right. Let's look at the draw as well really quickly. So Panther Storm to open up the week. We're going to react to this for sure. Uh, 3 a.m. for me. So um, going to be a late one for me, but we'll see. Um, we got Seagulls, Warriors. Uh, I got to assume the Seagulls win this one. Roosters, Eels, Roosters should win that one. Bulldogs, Dolphins. This will be a really good match. Bulldogs, Dolphins. Um, I maybe will try to do a stream for this one too, because that's a really good, yeah, that's a playoff implication match for sure. Um, but I will be tired from the night before. Uh, we'll see. I, I, I might turn this one on. We'll see. Um, then Cowboys, Raiders. That's another pretty good one. Yeah, I could honestly, hmm. I could see the Raiders winning this and taking the Cowboys, like, the Cowboys would be, like, on the ropes there. Um, Tigers Rabbit, that's a golden or it's a wooden spoon uh battle right there. Dragons Titan, that's also a good game, man. There's a lot of good games here that like have implications for everything. And then Sharks, Knights, and the buys goes to the Roosters. Or the Broncos, sorry. Yeah. All right, we'll we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh don't need to look at stats. Let's look at the tri leaders, I guess, really quickly. Uh Isaac leading leading points. Uh Con Pereira is leading leading tries by three. Okay. And Mariner number two. The interesting, some of the not best teams are the guys leading the tries. I guess because the other teams have so many, like so many good players that the tries are more spread out. I guess would be the case there. Um, anything else? Try assist Ben Hunt leading the way. Uh, all kicks. Katoa. Katoa tackles Mahoney. He's been leading the way for tackles all season. I feel like 
Uh, all runs, run meters. I don't know who this guy is at all. Karaz? Lead the way in all runs and run meters. Yeah, I don't, I'm not I don't familiar with him at all. Um, dummy half runs, Harry Grant. Edwards is still way ahead in kick return meters, despite being injured for a while now. Uh, penalties, Sam Walker, set restart, support play, yeah. Okay. All right, let's check out the Broncos versus Titans NRLW match. Um, reminder, if if you are an NRLW fan, make sure to join the Discord. Um, I don't have many people in there that follow the NRLW too closely, so I, I would like some people that um, can like let me know which games are the best to watch to, or let me know any important news I might have missed for the NRLW. So hop in there if you're not uh, if you're not already in there for sure. And yeah, let's just check this one out. All right, Broncos Titans. Um, I do not know the players on these two teams, so we will we will see who's if I recognize anyone from the Origin that we watched. Sunday afternoon, NRL. And I, I, I just picked this match to to react to because it was uh, had the most views for the week, and it was uploaded like after most of the other games. So I figured something must have been crazy that happened, or they just really uh, nice. Or they were just the two most popular teams. I don't know. Actually, Ch isn't Chapman on the Titans? Yeah, Chapman. Chapman's on the Titans. Okay, I remember. I remember. Is that another one? And she's claiming the try. Oh, Destiny Brill. She has delivered for the Broncos. You get down right there. Nice. Yep, she saw an opportunity. The live wire, Broughton. All right. Picks out Leonard Dutzi this time. Miracle ball back from Leonard Dutzi. Gal Broughton. This is going step. good for the Titans so far. Oh, jeez. Oh, what an offload. Nice. All right. 16-0, almost at the half. Yeah, so another one. Oh. Oh no way. That was brutal. It was a clever kick from Ali Brigginshaw, just putting it in front of Ivania Politi. So Brigginshaw, Joseph, Brill through the hands. Jeez. Yeah, another one here. Look at off foot again. Jeez. Did she drop that? I think she might have dropped she that. Oh, she hurt? Uh oh. Well, I guess not. Okay, I thought she might have dropped that when she was she putting it down. 22 nothing. with the half is crazy. Jeez, the offloads the Broncos are getting are pretty crazy. Okay, the, is this just going to be a huge... This is a blow. Interesting. Oh, good steps. Oh, what a run. No way. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, if she kept going, that would have been crazy. Okay, so this definitely doesn't seem like it was the best game of the week. <laughs> I guess the people just wanted to watch a Broncos uh, blowout. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the step. Jeez. She is a monster. That's crazy. She's all over the field. That's crazy. Yeah, that was wild. Alright, Titans gonna score here? Maybe what happened there? Is there a grounding from Brisbane? You're not able to ground the ball with your leg. The ball is then grounded by Lauren Brown. We have a decision. So Lauren Brown. Okay, interesting. Brilliant thinking from the number seven. She never gave up on the play. Interesting play, okay. Jada Ferguson again. Leonard Dutzi. And there's that offload. Is that play on? Yes, Ferguson. Brought, let's go. Jeez, so number three again. Crazy. How do you say that name? Hafoa? Is that what that was it always? 44 to 4 is crazy. Have registered their first win, showing all the hallmarks of why they're the most successful team in NRLW. Okay. A big, big performance. Okay, that, that's why. The, okay, so they're the most popular team and the best team in, in the NRLW. Um, 
Stacey Walk is it with one phenomenal athlete. First time playing league, she hasn't got a place. The more show sh- Lyra, the more danger she'll get. Bronx are starting to appear. Okay, so yeah, let me look at her um, NRL ladder. Where's NRL uh, ladder? Women's Premiership, round three. Where's the Broncos at? How do I look at players? Players, Broncos, women's. Okay, well, come on. What is it reset? Okay, what was her name? Oh, wait, what? Whoops. Waka. Where, who, which one's Waka? Stacy Waka. Is she the one? I think someone said that she, uh, there was a player that just came back from the Olympics. Is this the person? Google search. Yeah, rugby union player. Okay. This must be her from the New Zealand Sevens team. Yeah, it is. Or no, is it? Yeah, Olympic Games. There we go. Okay, so this is the person that was there talking about in the comments. So see that this was her first game, I believe, as they said. First game, yeah. Nice. Okay. So yeah, so she's the uh yeah, she plays union usually and then joined the NRL as well. Yeah, how old is she? Twenty eight. Interesting, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do some reactions to to her because it's. I feel like it's kind. Of, or maybe it's not as rare for in the women's side for Union to switch over to league and vice versa. But yeah, maybe I'll, I'll write her name down for a future reaction. Uh, but yeah, what, the other, what was the other girl? Um, Mele Hufanga. Yeah, she was a monster in that game. Uh, career thirteen games, fourteen tries. And she had a bunch of try assists too, right? She had one try assist, some tackle breaks. Yeah, four tries, man. Holy. And then last season, 10 tries in 10 games. Yeah, that's crazy. Is she another person that came from a different league? Because she's 20, 29. Did she come from Union as well? Yeah, she plays for Tonga in, in Rugby Union. Tonga, New Zealand in Rugby League. And then she played for the Blues women in Super Rugby Opika. All right. Yeah, so, she, so she's another one that played uh, Union and then went on her own. Okay, interesting. Yeah, that must be a lot more common than in the, on the men's side, just switching between the codes. Um, anyways, okay, so let's take a look at the uh, best moments as well, and then we'll wrap it up. Best NRW moments of round three. Inside the 20, still looking for their first points. Kelleher, a little bit more time. Aiken, quick okay, hands. Kelly, strange, went without it, knocked back. Was that a knock on? No play on the call. Laid off, float away. Isabel Kelly beats one. Oh, nice. Jamie Fressard for the corner. Nice. Can she get it down? And the Roosters! The Roosters are finally on the board here. There's Davis. Koenig. Well, that looked forward. Surges is away. She's got Bremner in support. Jessica nice kid run. Back to back tries for her. And underneath the post. And that's the match winner for the Roosters. No, that's not the same girl. Actually, my bad. Try right, Sharks, Raiders. Nice, nice, nice. She's got a double just as she did last year against Maddie Bartlett. She's got two tries. Six more tackles here for the Sharks. You heard the call from Casey. Patrick. Oh, good little dummy. Right up the middle. Oh, oh man. I thought she was going to get smoked there. And she stopped that run, run with a thump. Penatani. Tiana Penatani. And it's RP Nichols again. And there, oh, wow, how'd she get that? Okay. Crazy. And scored out of nothing there. Absolutely. Yeah, that was wild. Great reach. Yeah, she was like tackled by. From Panatani. Look at this. There was three on her, and she just puts it down. That's. Jeez. Not a great defense, though, I guess I'll say. Is that her again? No way. Oh, okay, that's the 10 meter line. Yeah, what happened there? Short side. On the last nice. She's over to Big go. comeback for the Sharks. They were down by like, was it was it 12 0 or 8 0 when that happened? All right, Cowboys, Eels, what's happening here? Oh, she's gone. Oh, good, good tackle. Tackle attempt of Blackwell. Last play. And now Parramatta. Finds a way. Too big, too strong, too good. Cherrington goes through as a decoy. Pearson, Church, trouble here. Oh, good step. Nice. Eels. Church. Church goes over. 
Right, Broncos Titans. Wasn't there already a Broncos game in this? Did they play twice? Oh no. I'm so dumb, guys. <laughs> we just watched the tight Broncos Titans game, that's why. Okay. I'm I'm so dumb. Yeah, so we just saw this. We saw this the highlights from this. Maybe I'll just skip ahead because we already saw these. Yeah, okay. There we go. Knights, Dragons. Yeah, it's easy. Oh. Easy stuff. Yeah. Shanice Parker for Newcastle. Shanice Parker. Puts the ball into the scrum. Hopkins. McGregor goes right again. Buries into a bit of space. Teagan oh. down the sideline. Nice. And another one for Teagan Berry over in the corner. And the St. George Illawarra Dragons hit. St. George Illawarra. Then, then for King. Oh, long pass out here to Brown. Brown steps inside one. And she's got a score. Oh, excuse me. So, Talk about a there you go. Set Tie game, points. possibly. The Dragons go over again to make it 10 8. Oh, that's it. Okay. That, that wasn't the best uh, best moments video compared to last week. Yeah, okay. So it looks like there's yeah, mul multiple players from the Olympics went to play the NRL from, coming from sevens. Interesting. Yeah, so l let me know more info about that, especially. Yeah, like, it's, I, like I was saying, I definitely want to have more um, people that know about the NRLW. Like, in my comments and in the discord for sure because yeah i definitely want to learn more and it's yeah it's really cool seeing um the players switch codes right like that's i've said that a couple times already but yeah it's definitely more common in the women's side of for that to happen especially with like i i guess with the like there's not as much money in the, in the women's side right so there's probably a lot more like um switching around like trying to make as much money as you can i guess trying to make trying to make a living doing it um that might involve like playing in a league at a certain time of year, then going to different leagues, playing and all that stuff, just maximizing your earnings. That that makes sense to me. That might not be why, but I feel like that probably is plays a part in it. Because I, I know, yeah, obviously it's um, in most like sports, the women's side is like pretty underpaid compared to the men's side, and it's just it's like in the early stages for most for the most part. So, um, yeah, good stuff, good stuff. Excited to see more from the women's side. Um, Oh well, yeah, let me know who I should check out because I, I I've, I've done a couple women's player reactions, um, mainly from the union side though. Like I did, uh, what's her name from New Zealand? She's like the goat. Um, I totally forget her name. She just won gold on in with Paris as well. Um, what was it? Uh, Portia Woodman Wycliffe. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, we had a reaction to her. Um, I don't think we've done any other reactions to any other women players. Uh, so let me know uh, which ones I should do for uh, for reactions. And yeah, I guess, yeah, just like I said, if you have more info on NRLW, let me know for sure, because I'd like, I'd like to learn more about it. Um, but yeah, we'll wrap it up there. Um, yeah, make sure to tune in on, is that Friday after Friday evening for you guys? Um, the Storm Panthers game, Do you want, doing a watch party for that. Should be a good time, two best teams. Uh, have they played this season? I don't know if they played this season yet. They might have played early in the season, but I, I forget. Um, yeah, both teams. I believe both teams are fully healthy now. I think Edwards is back as well for the Panthers, right? If he's not, then they're missing him. But for the most part, I think both teams are fully healthy, which is probably pretty rare for them because they've had lots of injuries all year. Um, so it should be should be just an awesome match. And then yeah, we'll do our. Um, I'll try to get my tipping video. I didn't do a tipping video last week. I'll try to get that out for sure. And yeah, yeah. Fun stuff. Drop a sub if you like the video. Comment your thoughts. Uh, like the video. All that stuff. Um, yeah, coming up on 3K. Let's let's get to there before finals. All right. Have a good one, guys.